Now, we are going to productivity and production calculations based on these two, uh, the, the, the inputs fr from the, uh, the labor hours on the quantities. So, when we go into these calculations, we have a lot of options. Okay? So, these calculations can show, you know, like we discussed in the last class, there is production and productivity and this can be done on a daily, weekly, periodic or cumulative basis. So, what we are going to do in this, in this uh, section is to be able to discuss how these calculations are converted into daily, weekly and cumulative reports and what these reports mean. And we will come to basically understanding what is here in the text after we look at the different reporting formats. So, let us take an example. So, this will be an example of a reinforcement activity and the total requirement is shown here, okay, 250,000 kgs in 60 work days, okay, this translates into a, a, a planned production of 6.47 kgs a day and an estimated productivity of, esti and the estimated productivity for this is 120 kgs per man day. Now, so this translates to a planned worker requirement of 35 workers per day, okay, so this is the overall uh, overall plan or the overall macro level view. As we go into the details of daily requirements, uh, you will find, we will see that here we have a 6 day work week. So, what this table shows you is the day of the week, 6 day work week, okay, running continuously. So, this is week 1 and this is week 2. Uh, the estimated productivity as given there is, is the same. For, for all days, we are taking it at, uh, at, at one level. Uh, what this shows you is the quantity installed, okay, on each day what was the actual output. And this is the input, shows you what the input was, how many man days were spent on each day and the calculation of productivity is shown here, okay. So, basically you can see that this is basically the productivity calculated on each of these days, okay. So, the table is fairly simple. And the calculations are fairly simple. Now, we can translate. So, in the supplementary material, you have the full 60 days in a spreadsheet and you should be able to analyze that and uh, use that. But when we cover the 60 days into a daily productivity and production graph, this is what we get. So, take a few minutes to look at this graph and let us take, let us try to discuss some of the salient points of the graph. Okay, so you can see the graph. So you can see the two dotted lines. What do the dotted lines indicate? The estimated values or what we know what we need. One is the for the productivity and the other is for the production. The blue indicates the productivity level. Okay, the pink or red indicates the production level. What is your general comment on productivity and on productivity first? from a daily perspective. A lot of variation. There is a lot of variation, okay, that may be expected from a daily graph, okay. Can we make any judgment on is it okay or not okay? In the production, you can say it is more of the... Yeah, when we just look at it visually, the production seems to be more over the graph. So, we are visually saying it is generally okay. The productivity, we are not, mostly if you take it seems to be below, especially in this sector, it is definitely below somewhere here, some, some days the productivity is higher. I am translating, converting this graph into basically the same data, it is just shown as a, in a line form, okay. And uh, you know, so you can see there are some peaks and some peaks and some ah, okay, that is a, that's an interesting question. Is it a similar trend in productivity and production? Take a look. We discussed this last time. Maybe if you look at uh, day number 32, where uh, Okay, so you, yeah. yeah, so if I look, so, so the question is, is the productivity and production trend similar? 
we had asked this question last time also they in general they might be similar if the crew size is roughly the same but if there are disruptions they need not be similar as it's illustrated here here production takes a dip productivity is a peak what do you think is the pattern here why do you think this happened most likely the crew numbers could have reduced so production reduced but the productivity is still high the output that crew yes. put for that is high okay now any other pattern so so here so here is another another thing i would want to do i would want to ask what happened here the production is zero that's why something else happened okay if i go back to the table i'll see zero zero output might be its weather might be material run out might be so the planning team so i'm not looking at 60 days of day of data during my uh, i mean during a, a regular weekly or daily meeting but if i was meeting on this day i would ask what happened here and try to do corrective action for this i would want to know what did i do right here to make the production go up might be here the material was not available suddenly all the material became available and i could i didn't have any material shortage my production was good it could be so so i would want to know what happened okay again there's a dip here i would want to know what happened here okay now what what are what do these circles indicate what is why do I, why did i highlight this production is going up in the yeah so it's a reverse of what happened here okay here the production increased but productivity decreased what would be the situation in which a production increases and productivity decreases the production where we put more resources correct more resources it's a normal problem we put more resources the production goes up but the productivity need not necessarily go up okay so your weekly a graph of productivity gives you an insight into all the variations there are questions to be asked they should be should understand why certain patterns occurred of course you are not seeing it over a 60 day period like this but you are seeing it in 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 weekly segments or uh, you know once in four or five day segments to be able to ask and take corrective action on it okay now this is the same data converted into a weekly production and productivity graph. Okay, so you can see what is the first thing that stands out here. Production level, you can clearly see that it's more or less getting stabilized. Production level because on a week to week basis, it's more or less stabilized. Okay. There is less fluctuation in the productivity also. C correct. This, yeah, because we have all these daily fluctuations have been now absorbed into the weekly side. So the, the variations are less, which means my information on details have reduced. But my if I'm looking from a weekly perspective, it is visible what's happening. Okay, I, I mean weekly control. So this is ball by ball over. Okay, ball by ball run rate kind of measurement. This is over based run rate measurement okay and uh, again some things come out so on a weekly basis i only have two weeks where i my 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 productivity was more than my planned okay whereas in my production okay some days it was less some days it was some weeks it was less some weeks it was more i'm still kind of looking at it okay so now I go to another graph now this is I am taking almost uh, the weekly average in a running form that is for every week I am calculating it continuously ok. So, so for week 1 the, 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 the whatever, whatever production on week 1 was 40 and the week 1's production is uh, is they, they is also factored into week two week one and two are factored into week three week one two and three are factored into week four production and productivity now what do you when you look at this graph what 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 can you make out of this it's more stable because there's a lot more data as you go week to week so it's very difficult so one week of up and down will not change it what would be your interpretation of this? When, what, what does this graph tell you overall from the project perspective? Uh, what is performing over the period of 
It is so when I compare this gave you week by week here each week's data is independent. Okay, here each week's data is dependent on all the previous data. Okay. Correct. That is okay. But now when I compare this and this, one thing stands out. What is it? Production, we can see that the level of the production hmm. is more than planned one. It's more than planned, okay? Whereas level of productivity? Always less. Always less. Yeah. So if you go back here, this fact, the fact that this here you can see productivity was close to 120, but whenever the whatever did this pulled it down, really pulled the productivity down, and it really never recovered, even though this went above. All of these are below. So the productivity never recovered to reach 120. Okay, if I go to production, here also production was below, but this production was above, Three. correct? So these two kind of compensated and all the time, even though it goes below, the productions above in the prior has always compensated, so it has continued to remain up. So from a project perspective, I am not looking only at week to week performance, I am starting to look at my past performance also up to now which gives me an indication as to whether I should, uh, you know, what, what kind of control action should I take. So, for example, here you can see production has been consistently below the asking requirement. But the project team is not worried because they know, if you look at this, they know that it is. So, you can see it is declining here. Even though it is declining, the past product, so it's, I scored all my runs in the first 10 overs. So I don't need to worry. The, the remaining ten can be taken in a in a easier fashion. Okay, I don't have to. When you look at this, you are worrying only over to over to over. You are not looking at the bigger picture. So this really gives you the bigger picture. Okay, now from a much more broader perspective, this is cumulative production and productivity. Okay, if I am just looking at it from a cumulative perspective. Uh, I'm taking it, accumulating it on a daily basis. This is the graph. So you can see the productivity draw, starts draw. This is where the there's a big drop in productivity and it really never recovers. Okay, production. There's a dip here. Okay, but it has always kept above the the required rate. Okay, so we can discuss cricket and our productivity requirements because you can see the graphs are very, very close, very closely resembling each other and this is something for future discussion, okay. We can look at what are the similarities, what are the differences, you know. Here we have, for example, total runs, runs per over, all of these, there are a lot of, lot of things which we track in cricket which is like tracking a project, okay. So I just want to bring about that here. So on this graph, we have product, on this axis, we have productivity, this axis, we have production. Okay, so I didn't highlight that earlier, but in all of the graphs, that is the way it is represented. Okay, so now we come back, we looked at all these calculations, we looked at daily, we looked at weekly, we looked at the cumulative and we kind of drew some of these conclusions as we looked at the graphs. One in daily, the variations are apparent. For weekly only, major, major variations came up. When we looked at cumulative, daily variations are hidden and we could only see overall trends and the analysis that was required, okay. Daily allows us to use, allows us to get, the, to view the data and analyze detailed causes. There was rain, there was material shortage, there was crew interference, you know, tower crane was not available. I don't know, we will be able to find really reasons at a daily basis. In the weekly, that gets hidden and only general major causes which cause weekly disru level disruption we can find and it is the same thing for cumulative there is all that gets hidden only overall trends can be found. So when we look at who uses it in a daily graph probably supervisor execution team will be using it, planning of the supervisory team will use the weekly and project management or management team will use the cumulative. Okay, so the use of these uh, graphs, so I have seen several places where the productivity measurement system is or is done or the daily 
uh, reporting is done, but everything remains as numbers. These graphs are not produced. And I think it makes a big difference when the feedback is visual. Okay, and it, with today's technology, it does not take much effort to make this a visual feedback.